I have plans for you, and it's not spaghetti sauce. All right, time for a new project. I'm bored. Like everyone else in the US, we're probably all stuck at home right now. Um, you know, there's only so much Netflix and TV um, that you can watch before you go crazy. So I need a project to do. Obviously I was on YouTube and I saw some guys making some camping stoves out of some, um, you know, just random material they have around the house. Um, one of them were paint cans. I went in the garage and found this little guy, which is a tiny little paint can that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's. They're fairly inexpensive. I think when I looked online, I think this costs like $3. So cheap little project, something fun to do. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, no big deal. So I'm out $3. Um, on top of that, I also made a little soup can, which, you know, probably being stuck at home right now. We're eating a lot of canned food. So um, pick a, I think this is a tomato can actually. So just went ahead and peeled off the label. I'm going to go ahead and cut the lid so that it fits the can. I'm going to drop the can in there and then drill a bunch of holes around there and fill it up with, I'm going to use pellets because it's raining right now and all the wood outside is pretty wet. So I'm going to try to see if this will actually create a gasifier stove, I think they call it. We'll see how it works. If not, I'm out, as I said, $3 plus this cost of a can of tomatoes, which was, I use the tomatoes, so no big deal. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started and let's see how this turns out. All right, first things first, I'm gonna have to cut out the lid. So what I'm gonna try to do is take the can, I'm gonna put this upside down and try to just take a pencil mark and mark where I need to cut. I'm actually gonna cut that a little smaller than I need to, just so that I have to force fit the can in there. Um, you, know, you can do this in a variety of ways, tin snips, um, you can use a Dremel, you can use an angle grinder if you're really skilled with that. I'm going to go ahead and use a lathe. Probably a bad idea to use a lathe, but I want some. I haven't used a lathe in a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and try that. So, wish me luck. So I went ahead and cut that out with a lathe, and I can honestly say that was probably the unsafest way to do that. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, anyway, I went ahead and just kind of, you know, whittled it down as best as I could to fit the can. Um, if you want, you can take a hammer and just kind of flatten down these edges so you don't cut yourself. Um, they're still kind of sharp, but again, this is just a test, so no big deal. But let's see if I grab the can, if I put this on top. And just grab our soup can. As you see, it fits in there pretty good. Um, obviously, you want it to be as airtight as possible. So, um, next thing I'm going to do is start drilling some holes in the can itself. And I'll need a template to mark those out, which I've drawn up right here. So, I've done one for the paint can itself, and then one for the tomato can. And basically, all these little marks are. are the 12 points where I'm going to go ahead and kind of mark on the side where I need to drill a half inch hole. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then after that I'll go ahead and drill the holes for the tomato can.
All right, so we're all done cutting everything, drilling everything. Um, let's see how it fits together. This is the paint can from Home Depot. It's four and a quarter inches in diameter. Um, basically, I left the bottom in place, um, drilled a bunch of half inch holes around the base. I think this is, I think there are 12 of them. Uh, this was the lid, so I went ahead and cut this out on the lathe and then cut it to dimensions so that the can could fit in here. This is just a regular lower old, um, in this case, this one's a tomato can as you saw earlier. So I went ahead and drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom. Um, I think these are 5 16 and these are quarter inch, if I remember right. But you can see that they're just some holes drilled in a random pattern. Well, not really a random pattern, but just a uh, star pattern. These are quarter inch holes. I think there's 12 on each row. So I just drill them around the top. So what I do now is place the lid on top. You see there's some burrs in there that I need to clean up, but um, I'm going to go ahead and test this stove and then see if it works properly. And if it does, maybe I'll make a better one out of um, actual steel, well, thicker steel. So I just want to see if this actually works. Um, there obviously has to be some cleanup in here. I'm assuming some of this can liner is going to need to burn off and before I put anything on there. But this is just something to do on a rainy day, especially since we're all in lockdown right now. So let's go ahead and give this a test burn. I'm going to add some pellets and see what happens. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Okay, so I went ahead and filled the little chamber with a bunch of these little pellets. I think these are just Traeger pellets, even though I don't have a Traeger smoker. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cheat and use a paraffin cube. One, of, These are the ones from Weber, just to start this thing off, and then hopefully it gets everything burning. The reason is I get outside's kind of wet, and I don't know if, how long it's going to take before it starts raining again. So I just want to give this thing a test run, see how it works, and then, you know, kind of take it from there. Okay, we're going to wait until that burns off and then see how it works. All right, so the paraffin burned off a long time ago. This thing's been going for about 30 minutes. It is um, just been burning the entire time, which is pretty cool. So. I think that this is a successful test. I don't know if you could actually cook on this though. It's not as warm as I think it could be, but um, you can definitely keep a tent warm or keep your hands warm if you wanted to, and it burns for a really long time. I think um, if you modify the design a little, it'd probably work a little bit better, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's a cool little test and just something fun to play with. So um, outside of that, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I'll leave you with some shots of this thing burning.